Good luck, have fun. All right, with those wise, wise words from our head referee, I want you guys to count it down with me. We're going to start autonomous in three, two, one, go. We see some quick movement from 3796F to score that roller. And 79267A shoots one, misses one, shoots two, misses two. Oh my god, that could be devastating for their autonomous. But they get a roller, meaning that blue now controls two rollers, uh, two discs, while red has two rollers, meaning that this likely will be a red autonomous win. And with that red autonomous win, we're going to move into driver control. Count it down with me again. Three, two, one, go. You see some quick driving from 79267A um, as they grab three discs real quick and get ready for the shot. Uh, same with 3796F as they take one, two, three shots, but only three from two robots to make it, uh, meaning that they also miss three shots. Um, you can see the blue team playing some heavy defense on 79267A as their alliance partner shoots one, makes one, shoots two, makes two, and their third one seems to be jammed in their intake. But they're definitely catching up against this red alliance team. We can also see the, the work of the Blue Alliance putting all those discs in the corner of the low Blue Alliance gold. Could be a shout for, for adding a bunch of points to the score to help offset the amount of discs in the red top goal. But we can see 3796F throwing up three more into the red basket and 79267A throwing up a couple more as well, trying to empty out that blue low goal. We can see 65162B throwing some of those discs and getting ready to shoot them into the high blue goal with 45 seconds left in this final match. We can see that 79627A, 79267A grabs three more and is being pushed by 3796K out of the goal to get them off their shot. But they get two up. Um, and with 30 seconds left, it's looking like the Red Alliance is running away with this match. But Blue Alliance controls most of the rollers, so that could really affect it, and it could all come down to endgame. It looks like 79627A is pushing 3796K into the corner, and with 20 seconds left, that could be vital as they get access to the roller and flip it over to the red. 15 seconds left. We can see the rollers going back and forth with blue lines controlling two on the other side, but 79267A flipping one to the red. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and that's time. And we'll let the referees judge exactly how many points were scored here. I'd ask team members to refrain from entering the, the Competition area until the points have been scored, making sure that we're not reaching into the field. Hello. If you're not on drive team, you cannot be up at the competition field. All right, as the referees are scoring this final match, let's give a round of applause for all the teams here at this tournament. They all work so hard to get here. And even just competing at this level is a great achievement for any team here. And we look forward to seeing you at the rest of the tournaments this year, especially the JL Men's Spring Qualifier in January. See a great display of sportsmanship over here on the left as the teams shake hands after that very contentious final match and head back to their respective locations to receive the scores on the field. All right, our scores are officially getting entered in now. See if our score table is ready to put up our winning score. So our tournament champions will be 3796F and 79267A, 139-76. to We will announce our awards here in the next few minutes. Just give us a moment. All right, this is the one you've all been waiting for. Tournament champions. Um, the tournament champions obviously competed the knockout rounds of this tournament and exceeded to win the tournament. Uh, your tournament champions for this tournament are Team 79267A, Swampbots, and 3796F, pay respects.
And the final.